Hello guys, you're welcome to Anything and Everything. And as you know, we provide you with the best content that you can find on the web. So today we're going to be diving right into it. We're going to talk about hand hygiene. It's a very crucial procedure. Most nurses overlook this, or most medical personnel, but it's very important because we are often exposed to pathogens and microorganisms, so we need to be very intentional about hand hygiene. What exactly is hand hygiene? Okay, hand hygiene basically is reducing the incidence of pathogens in the hands. Big words, but simply means just reducing microorganisms you can present in the hands. Now, actually, there are two uh, things you can use to perform hand hygiene. You can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, or we can use uh, soap and water. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using soap and water. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer can be used because it's an easier reach most times. But soap and water are used most times to when all when actually your hands are visibly greasy or dirty. So for now, we're going to just perform the procedure and carry on. So when is it actually done? It's actually performed before and after patient care. It is performed when you come in contact with bodily fluids, injury, or any contaminated surface. It is done when you doff or remove off your gloves. It is done before eating, very important before eating, and also after you use the restroom because you know that you can be exposed to pathogens there. So now let's just dive right into the procedure. Okay, before I perform my hand hygiene, I actually need to take off my watch so that I can physically clean every surface of my hand. So this is taking so much time. Ah, okay. Okay, to wash my hands, I'll need warm water, so I'll make sure I can get warm water from this. Okay. This is actually warm. You don't use hot water because it could damage the surface layer of your skin. So now I wet my hands, then I get a soap. It is actually recommended one teaspoon of soap is recommended. So you can measure it, but at least just an average amount to go through your hands. Then I lather. Lather basically means forming a foam around your hands, making sure that the soap can get to every area of your hands. So I put it on my wrist as well. So the soap is present then. Now I'm going into hand hygiene proper. The first thing I do is to what? Roll my hands in a circular motion, ensuring that every surface of my hands are covered with soap and make sure I'm scrubbing properly. Next, the opposite hands also rubbed. Then I go to the back of my hands, I rub my hands, and the opposite hand also is rubbed in the circular motion. Then I go to my tongue. I do this for my, my left thumb and also my right. So make sure you alternate the hands as you're doing each of the procedures. Then I do it for my, each, of, each of my individual fingers. Then same thing for the opposite hand. And after I'm done with that, next thing is my knuckles, basically. And still in second motion, just to make sure that every part of my hands and even my fingers as well. Ideally, you, as a female, you should know that you shouldn't cortex because gems have a way of finding their ways into your fingers. So you can visibly see your fingers, then don't cortex. So now, we'll go in a circular motion, then we do the opposite hand. We can, we can also do it like this also, but I prefer, you know, circular motion. So after that, then I go and um, go behind my, my hand and I interlock. Look, I wash in between my fingers to make sure that no germs can be present there. Then I interlock the opposite fingers. And even as doing this, I make sure, lastly, that I get true to my fingers to make sure that there is no hidden germs or dirt present I can visibly see. Okay, and after that, I go to my wrist and go a little bit one inch above. So. So then I just go around and I can wash. Now it's very important that when performing this procedure, your uniform is a little bit distant or not in contact with the sink, thus you can actually contaminate yourself. So you wash your hands and next thing you do is to take a paper towel as you can see, and just part, part your hands, part, so you don't be too hard on your skin. Then we dispose this, then we take another paper towel and put off the top. So, so that's how we perform hand hygiene. And lastly, before we go, we, we have to perform hand hygiene for a duration of 20 seconds. 
most likely using the happy birthday song just to make yourself remember so just sing happy birthday to you just to remember so that's all you need to know for hand hygiene thank you for watching and enjoy take care Alphonsus, you know, he's as you can see, he's the black beauty of the native. class. Yeah. As you can see, me, I don't know how to wash my hands. Yeah, I should shave from. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. Everything, do it, everything. You say you have to wear this on. What you say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, they are challenging me to use the happy birthday song. You will see how that goes. Do it, do it. Okay, let me see, put on the tablets. See? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Okay. Don't rush, don't rush. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done. My God. Did you download? <laughs> <laughs> that was more than 20 seconds. <laughs>